Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. We've got our unconventional dead ass podcast, episode four. Five. Five. Six. Six. Seven. Seven. Jesus. Seven. We going upwards? You're not going to count? It's on a loser. All right. Oh. <laughs> well, right into that one. Eight. It was, it was, and he did the fours too. <laughs> he overthought that shit too hard. Oh, oh my lord. Son, cut. One, two, three. Mm-hmm. Jump man high too. <laughs> Did somebody say seven? Nobody said seven. He said seven. I said seven. He what said seven. That's what made it funny. It was douche. pretty simple. Mm-hmm. Five, six, seven, and then he was just like that Lincoln education. I, wow. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. We got <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. We got our unconventional dead ass podcast episode four. I believe, yeah. and uh, as always, if you did not know, get familiar, I'm the diligent, vigilant, meticulous, sagacious, conscientious, analytical, methodical, individual, the chiseled Adonis, across from me. Hi, I'm Anti-Social Ty. Mr. Unknown. Mr. No IG. And the new stand-in, the... Put your hand down, put your hand down. The unchiseled Adonis. The unchiseled Adonis. You covered his face. I covered his face. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you, you just introduce yourself again because now they can see your face. The unchiseled. Oh, 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 hey, yo! Hey. Hey. Did you see, did you see the butcher you guys? He started eating, he started cunnilingus on a poltergeist. Wow. Guy. Yo. Don't introduce yourself. The unchiseled Adonis. The unchiseled Adonis. All right, so what we fixing to talk about today? Got some uh, insecurity, maturity. So we can start with ourselves. All right, so any fellas want to say any sort of insecurity that y'all might have? Can start going around the table. Let's go. I start on the insecurities. Um, new guy. Let's see. Uh, insecurities. All right, he's taking man long. Um, one of my insecurities. I talk very fast, so sometimes people don't understand what I'm saying. I have to slow it down. I get tired of repeating myself a lot. I have learned to cope with that by like practicing, like slowing down my t- um speed of talking. I, Cause I don't like repeat myself. Oh. And sometimes my accent comes out because I, I am from Haiti and I do have an accent. I don't hear it myself, but yeah. sometimes people be like, Son, I have an accent. I'll how be long like, you had a, I never accent. heard you yeah. had an accent. So Some people tell me, like, I heard that accent a little bit slipped out. I was like, I was, You were born in Haiti? Yeah, I was. Oh, but when so, did you have an accent? That's, that's what, what I'm, I'm saying. saying. Nah, I, I know this since I was 14. People, people I tell me, heard like, I heard, I heard the accent. I'm like, People I guess it's because it's a Brooklyn <laughs> yeah. thing. If you're from Brooklyn, you, you yeah, you they, they, they heard they hear my yeah. Caribbean accent. I'd be like, that's right. interesting, you know. Insecurity and speed of speech. Yeah, because I, I talk fast, so I, people be like, "Can you repeat that? Can you repeat that?" Or sometimes they might you talking too low. It's a combination of the both. Ah, so just speaking like in general, yeah. getting off. All right, I mean, because now he into it. Like now, I'm gonna have to repeat myself. Yeah, yeah. yeah so you sense. have to learn to like slow down and articulate more. Um, project your voice loud, more mm, loudly. I like that. Ah. So you're working on that. At least you, you you've identified what the, the problem was, and you went about you know fixing that. What about you? Nah, I feel me right now. Hold mm-hmm. on. Oh, you still oh, thinking yeah. about it? Right? You figured out um, one for you. Storytelling. Okay. If I'm actually explaining that situation. Uh, you want tangents? My, yeah, I run tangents. My attention span kind of goes all over the place, and then after that's one. Um, also, seeing structure that's not set in place. Mm-hmm. Ticks me off. Mm-hmm. So I consider that OCD. Like, I wouldn't consider it to be OCD. It's like when I see management that's not run properly, it ticks me off. Because like if I feel like you're my manager for my job or anything, and I know that I could probably do your job better than you. I so why don't you do it better than them? Well, paperwork gotta get you. What is it? Cause it's like that comes off more like a pet peeve more than like an insecurity. Because in insecurity, in a sense, is something that like you would shy away from. Yeah, something about yourself. Yeah, something person. like about but yourself. Because in, like- in his case, if you talk about like speeding, mm-hmm. like speaking at a certain sort of speed, you kind of shy away from speaking because that's something that always comes up. In the case of you know, with management. See, like, I'm just trying. Is it just speaking up towards management because yeah. they kind of okay, all right. That so. I would say it like that. Oh, so, so you so care about like standing speaking, up yeah, standing up is like speaking your mind then, in the sense. I I limit myself from standing up. Like, okay, so it's like if I see an issue and being upfront about it, I I fall back from being upfront about it. So I allow it to linger, where I should just confront it at that moment. Oh, you be passive aggressive. Yeah, I'm uh, passive aggressive. Okay, all right. That's, what, that's the perfect way to describe it. Well, that's perfect. Okay, so your insecurity is that just be like standing up for yourself. Then. Pretty much, okay. like, uh, like channel that 
Yeah, aggression. Channeling, channeling the aggression. Yeah. And when when something happens, I mean, to channel the aggression right there. Yeah, because it's that that moment. In that, that moment, moment. Yeah. Yeah. I don't you let it linger. Then, I let it yeah. linger. Mm-hmm. Then when it's when it's not time for it to be even addressed anymore. That's when I lash Oh, out. Jesus Christ, you're a uh, white beater in the middle. Hey. <laughs> you're a white beater. You should go get have a top, cold, Susan. cold <laughs> egg. <and you're> like, <laughs> oh. And stole my uh, uh, lunch for like, like two years ago. That's yeah, but that, yeah, that isn't that messed up though? I yeah. used to wear white beaters as a kid and say that as a little kid. Nah, can I get a white beater? Never noticed until I got older. Yeah, mm-hmm. what it actually was. I was like, oh snap! And then I saw all the movies. I was like, oh. I contained this whole thing into it. My bad, my bad. Because <laughs> we're gonna go somewhere else with it. I, just, I, I my go, bad. Bring it back because my mind, my mind, go. We gonna end up somewhere. So he yeah. went. He went. Yeah, he went. Okay. What you think? Um, <clears throat> it could be anger. Anger being like getting anger out. Not or what leads to the controlling anger. your anger, controlling the anger for uh, me. Like, I can flip like this, mm-hmm. you know, and I think that's my problem. So what makes you flip so easy? Why are you? Yeah, it could be, be something it like it what's something that something that triggers. That's that's the thing. It's he just short having a short fuse. maybe just yeah, a short, short fuse. fuse. Maybe his talk was too good. Mm. <laughs> Shit, <Maybe>. <laughs> 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 you for this topic. Nah, uh, yeah, because mm. it's it's really a thing. Short fuse, probably. You know what I mean? Like. I could, I could be Gucci, and the next thing you know, you could say something just far fetched, stupid. And I'll just be like, ah, yeah. And, mm. you know, so Is that's that what why I'm you not. probably end up saying less to try to stay away from I say always it, I barely, I barely, I would, I would run a joke before I would say something truly on my mind because of that. You know uh-huh. what I'm saying? Yeah. So well, that's, that's actually something deep, though, because, yeah, like, yeah. instead of expressing yourself because you know yeah. you're going to get angry. <clears throat> yeah. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I guess that's one. Yeah. I can relate. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I got one. Um, I guess one of my insecurities was uh my head. Yeah. Like once I lost my head, dude, I had a I was going to work with a do rag on, a hat, and then put on my hard hat. Shit. Damn. I was wild. Yeah. Nah, cause I at the time I wasn't comfortable. I didn't know how to shave my own head. I had to teach myself how to shave my head. And then mm. over time I learned how to shave my head, get it right, and then I was just like, alright, cool. And then I was like, Can I get a girl? And then over time I realized as a little kid, you get a light season. I was just like, I was bold for a while. So <laughs> once I embraced, I was good. Yeah. But I still, you know, if I don't cut it, I'm still like, if uh, I, yeah, I gotta make sure I shave it before I go out. I ain't crazy, yeah. but I had to some sometimes, you know, uh, they come back. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's a good one too. That a lot of people they be having they were like their hair start like it start thinning out. Some shit like that. Or yeah, I learned from them because I be like, I don't want to be like that. Mm-hmm. Like, yo, chill. It's windy outside. <laughs> no, I'm like, all right, it's windy. I'm gonna take this off. Bro. I was like that, son. It's windy outside. I never get windy blown up. <laughs> and I was just like, yo, I don't want to live like that. Can't go, it. can't go in the club. And I just was like, well, we can cut this, and I'm like, I'm free. Yeah, yeah the club thing. Oh, yeah. you can't wear hats. Can't wear hats. Yeah, right. <laughs> going home. Oh, yeah. 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 Gotta go I see home. the hat memes. So my sister yeah. sent me one of those. Oh, that's love right there. My sister nah, that, yo, that joint used to have me though. Cause they, they, some days I was looking crazy. Yeah. Pull up with the fitting, like yo, you gotta take that off. I'm like yo, you know what? Oh, I'm good. <laughs> yeah. I only own it from the Brooklyn. Thing. I enjoyed the walk. They, they, and they already saw my ID. Like yo, you travel from Brooklyn. You sure you want to go home? Yo, I'm good. I enjoyed the travel. I enjoyed the walk. It's time for me to go. You know what I mean? The hat. Stand. I take this shit off. It's gonna be looking like a, uh, what Marlon Wayne's hair was looking like in the uh, um what was it? Don't be a menace. Oh, he had like the Kodak black yeah. or some shit. Like I don't know, his hair was going in different directions. Oh yeah, nah, that was oh, some Kodak yeah. black shit right there. Oh, you yeah. got locks? Yeah. Why are you going to that ugly face? Mm. The, when it's short, when it's short, when it's short, everybody know the lot ugly face. Yeah, yeah. 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 really like over the shoe off. Wow. What's <laughs> <laughs> that even called in English? Is that clover? Clothes. It's clo- yeah. it's clothes. 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 It's clover. Clover. It's clover. Clover. Yeah, oh like man, clothes. that's so, funny. So what's man. yours, man? Mine, I would have to say, is probably. I'm not passive aggressive, but my thing would be I hold back from saying. Like what I'd feel because I I don't want to hurt that person feeling. Like mm-hmm. rather than get off of my chest what I want said, I consider your feelings first rather than mine. So in a sense, my insecurity would be I don't want to tr- in, in, truly speak my mind and get co- like be completely blunt because I'm blunt to a T. There's so much more that I could go and say, but I don't say it because true. I value 
But like, what's your yeah, reason for being blunt? If you being blunt to be mean, then yeah, because the thing that. is, because it's it's not to be mean. It's like, all right, this is how I feel. Speaking I'm mind. gonna get this off my chest. But my thing, <laughs> a lot of people they can't handle that. There's times where I can just I'll say it because this is how I because it's, it's, it has it, I have my lapses. I have, I have my lapses. There's times when I can do it 100, percent and there's other times where it's just ah, uh, you know. I don't want to do it because then we're going to get into a whole uh, irrelevant conversation. Oh, you don't say nothing at all or you try to think of no, no, different I ways say, yeah, and I articulate to, I it better? Ed, I have to edit myself. Yeah, right. So I have to edit myself. So I have to say my, my insecurities are just self-editing. Mm-hmm. You know, what Always. I've been doing to like work on is... Filter less. Yeah, filter less. Say what I... like. Preference why I say what I say. Get it off my chest and explain why I said it the way that I do. Because if I got to say more just to, so you understand this is not coming from a malicious... You know, point of view. It's just mm-hmm. this is how I feel. This is how I felt in the moment. I'm just letting you know. And once it's off my chest, I don't carry that shit. Yeah, it I wasn't an emotional. Yeah, there's no, there's no out. grudge or nothing like that. I say what I gotta say. Yeah. I move on. Yeah. Yeah, it's one of those. It's one of those things where and you gotta take steps but to grow. I, I feel like we all edit ourselves, mm-hmm. like to a point. You know, some people edit you way more to. than yeah, because not everyone can take everything that you're saying to play the game right? in the world. Yeah, you, got you it. have to edit yourself. It all depends on who you're communicating with, because you gotta understand who you're communicating. Yeah, because us, we don't edit. Understand you know? yeah. like how they could um, receive what you're saying. Mm-hmm. Some people take things differently, and some mm-hmm. people you could really just come on and say what you want to say. Some I mean, you gotta be like, I gotta finesse it a certain way, not yeah. finesse, but alter it a certain way. So That's why I wait for people it. to ask me for advice. I don't give advice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. ask me for never something. give free never. advice yeah. because. It's just gonna bite you in the I'm ass. I'm not gonna be like, yo, you should. No, no, no. If you come to me, be like, yo, yeah. what should I do? What should do? I do? I'm then I tell you my point of view. Now of I don't got to. Now I don't have to filter. Yeah, so that's the beautiful Open yourself thing. up to. Yeah. It. Because when you when somebody asks and you give your point of view, it's never yo, yo, you do this like piece by piece from what I'm saying. I'm mm-hmm. just telling you how I feel yeah. and what I think and I would do. Would have done in that situation. The problem is whenever you gotta find yourself editing, like ah, I don't know how this person would feel. I don't know um, oh. what this person would want to do. That shit, it fucks with you. Yeah, yeah. You know? But what 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 would you um um like where did you mature with that insecurity? Like what did you do to like mature in them that situation? My short fuse, I just don't care. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Is is the fact is is not caring what someone else say. I legit like if you ask anyone, they were like, Oh yeah, he don't care. He but don't why care. are you so angry? That's um, why I'm trying to figure out. I'm I'm guessing the whole anger thing is like, you know, back being a Caribbean kid, you know, growing up, the same third, you can't say certain things. You know what I'm saying? A lot of stuff has to be eaten. All your words have to be eaten. This, that, and the third, and a lot of stuff can't be expressed a certain way. And because of that, all of that, I'm guessing it just builds up to a certain point. Now I say what I gotta say, and I just keep it pushing. Whether you feel a certain way or whatever the situation may be, I'm gonna say it because a lot of people they don't care when they say something to you. They just say what they gotta say and they keep it pushing. And I don't ask for advice. If you ask for my, for my advice, I give a hundred percent what I feel a hundred percent of the time. That's what it is. So, with with that said and done, now, nah, I just say what I gotta say. Don't care about what the response is gonna be because a lot of times the response is that was angering me, and I just keep it pushing from there. Yeah. Expand on that. No, like um, the self editing thing when you when you made that statement, I really realized like I do that a lot. So, I would ha- I would really pull back my punches. When it came to like, okay, it's time for me to be blunt, but I know how you're going to react and I know how you're going to interpret certain things. So like for me, I could, social media, for example, the way you read one post is the way he's going to read it. You're going to read the same post and it's interpreted different. So I got into situations in my lifetime where I would make a post, somebody would interpret it totally different, they not taking shots. Mm-hmm. And then when I'm explaining it, like, yo, nobody was thinking about you when I made this post. They were in their feelings. Mm-hmm. And, but exactly. And then they make it seem like, oh, you were in your feelings. And so when I'm like, where did that come People from? project their own insecurities on you. On you. And then it, because c- it'll make you start to analyze how you trying to speak when you shouldn't even have been doing that in the first place. Because mm-hmm. you said, this is for me. What I said is for Your me. Your intentions like never that then. Yeah, exactly. like when people think, oh, you throwing subs. No. I mean, if the shoe fit, then that's your business. Yeah. But mm-hmm. why is it I got to now, I can't say how I feel about a certain situation because now it, it, it falls into what you got going on in your life. Yeah. And the certain things with the social media, it's also like with texting too, it's also the concept and the tone. People mm-hmm. can't hear the tone or the, uh, the concept of how you can trying to project it or trying to say it so they read a certain way they just automatically have it 
a, a certain ideal. He's saying it in a mean way or something like that. And his words. It's yeah. like, yo, man, I'm text. I said, where you like, at? Why like, are you saying it so angry? Yeah. yeah. So it's what? like, it's like I guess it's like a, um, a personal thing growing up. You hear, you see, you hear certain words put together. You just hear, you hear in a certain tone, like an angry tone or a soft tone. Or whatever Depending you on how and you yeah. heard it from before. But if you know the person, sometimes you can understand, like, he doesn't really mean it like that or whatever. Mm-hmm. But that's the whole misconception of texting and social media. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it definitely grows that insecurity too because since you can't see nothing, so somebody can say something and they can be joking, but if you don't put that LOL, you won't take it yeah. as a joke. It's like when you're texting somebody now, you got to constantly either put like that LOL, one of the uh, the emojis. emojis, just so people know, oh, I'm I'm being whimsical with me. Yeah, now shit. now it's like, oh, you're controlling. Now I have to put LOL. Yeah, because we're not going to do Yeah, because you're going to take it all yeah. the different I learned to call. Time. Like, if it start, if I see a miscommunication, yeah. that, it, I, I was, immediately call. I was like, just about to say that. Nope. Like, mm-hmm. if I see something that I read wrong, and it's a possibility that you can read it wrong also, yeah. I make the call like, what did you mean by this statement? You yeah. understand? You ask, be an adult. Ask what it is because at the end of the day, you interpret it whatever way you want to interpret it from the way how they're saying it. It ain't gonna help no one out unless you figure mm-hmm. it out and get on the same page. Nip it in the butt early. Yeah, <laughs> and in make matters work, that just misinterpretation there, and then it builds on like the passive aggressiveness. Mm-hmm. Because if it somebody stores. read that joint and they take it a certain sort of way, and they're passive aggressive, now it's just gonna start to build because Story. you never gonna know. Yep. So you can keep saying something to somebody. And it could be bothering them. Yeah. They'll never address it until like six months up. later, and then you 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 sideswipe, you blind you blindsided, because yeah. you ain't never heard this joint before. You know, what are you talking about? Yeah. Yeah. He, oh, he over you with a gun. Mm-hmm. Told my yo, so I hate you. You like Whoa. he was at my barbecue last week. <laughs> <laughs> hey. It be like that. No? Yeah, it be it really Facts. be like that. That's the thing that's crazy. Like, what are outlets that y'all do to get past y'all insecurities? That's the key. Y'all need to find mm-hmm. an outlet to direct that. Mm-hmm. I would have to say starting with like the content creation, getting on YouTube and being able to speak my mind and, there and then express myself. And I took steps from that. So when I first started, even when nobody was watching and I'll just say, all right, this is how I feel. And then also the comment section, because you can still put out a video there because it's a one sided sort of it's not really a conversation. It's just me speaking to you. Yeah. So now when we get in the comment section. That's why it's imperative for me to go speak to the people in the comments. No, nah, no, nah, this is what I felt like. Actually, this is that's what a good because you and, literally saying everything you're saying is right there. Yeah. Now what your comment is, it should be based on what I said. Exactly. So when people go on tangents in your comments, I, I know you probably like that's not what I said. Yeah. Because I, I I used to get frustrated in the sense when where people would take words out of your mouth, like they or oh, I should say put words into your your yeah. mouth because it's it's <laughs> like they would say stuff that you ain't coming. even say. Yeah. So you talk, you could be talking about the moon and be like, oh, but 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 with Mars, it's not even. So wait a minute, but we ain't even talking about yeah, that. Yeah, like, so mm-hmm. and if you play the game that they put now, they done took you on a whole other. Yeah, they take yeah. you on these. Rides yeah, it's like people who don't know how to debate. Mm-hmm. What mm-hmm. the first thing they'll do is talk about something else. Yeah. And then once that happened. Now you having a whole conversation about something else when, when you, was, you was originally supposed to be here. I will find yeah. myself like spending 30 minutes trying to bring us back to the point yeah. in conversation with yeah. you. Uh, I'm like, we all off the point now. Let's come back. Let's mm. bring it back. It happens all the time. And then it turns into an argument about the point. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So I'd have to say for me to, to get over my like insecurity of not being able to, or I should say just that constant self-editing. I had to just learn different ways to just express myself, and I keep every every day. It's a battle. Like, all right, I'm get get off my chest. How I feel about this? Yeah, don't. I'll stop. say it, and then you constantly growing. Mm-hmm. What are you doing to get like past? with just dealing with that passive aggressiveness that you got. For me now, it's evaluating situations, and then taking the opportunity to address it at that moment, and um, learning from. Changing my surroundings and the people that are in my surroundings. Because it's like, if I'm in a constant circle where you're not showing any accountability to be like, yo, you got to nip that in the butt right there. Mm-hmm. And, and you, you allow it to linger and mm-hmm. you know that it's lingering and you don't address it at all. So it's like, I right, I got to start changing stuff up. So started like being around different people. I ended up on like different platforms and everything like that. Learning from different types of like, they see how people have different auras and everything. Yeah. So being around different auras to try to gain energy off of that. Like a what? <laughs> no, go ahead. Like a what? Go ahead. Somebody throw the zodiac at him. <laughs> 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 he said what? <laughs> <laughs> he said what? <laughs> 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 
Nah, I'm about to dip in that butt right there. So I'm just, oh, damn. <laughs> bro. 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 Yeah, so, bro. Yeah, so, bro. It's just, it's just that. Like, to me now, I want to, um, I've always wanted to, like, create content, like, where I have concepts that I want to put out. And I was always hesitant because I was going to base it on things that I've, visual, like, I've seen. And just to release stuff that I've, I've been, like, holding on to. Mm -hmm. I have, like, I have... It's, my insecurity is like not only like the whole passive aggressiveness, I allowed it to create grudges. So uh, it's like, okay. Because I allow grudges. Oh, you make your own beef? No, no, in a in a sense, yeah, yeah. In, in a sense, yeah. Because he creates, he creates that resentment, and, it, and, sense, and it creates, it creates, creates it. you know, the grudges yeah. there yeah, too. I can see it because now dudes looking at him like, why you don't speak his mind like? I, feel, I know you feel some way when like, you're not talking. I, I would definitely like. I felt my mind. Like I felt my mind. I felt. <laughs> I felt the type of way about a lot of stuff because I've like in my entire lifetime, people have done a lot of crazy shit to me. So it's like, I right, do I react the way I want to react, or do I hold my punches? And for years, I've held my punches. So then, when you end up at that bottom, now you at the you're in the abyss. Like you're just looking up. Like I, right, I'm in a dark place. What do I do? Do I react this way? Do I react that way? And then now it's just trying to be around different energies. Okay. Mm -hmm. See what vibe with you. Yeah, yeah. see what vibe with okay. you. I mean, like... It's all about vibe. It's bro. all about vibes. Like, you know, last 10 it's years, bro, I've been in such a it's toxic and not, like toxic lifestyle where it's like, I really see nobody ever grow. Ooh, mm -hmm. So Shit. it's like, it's where, where it's like, Oh, the man. only person that I really seen like that's in within my entire existence that I can say that I'm close to that really grew up like that, my brother. Everybody else, yeah. It's like yeah, going through I, the motions. Yeah, yeah, going through the motions, like and then no progression. Yeah, because no progression. people too comfortable being complacent. Yeah, and then it's like yo, we hanging out and then we ain't doing nothing. Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Nothing at all. No so talks then, about future moves. No yeah. risk. No business. No nothing. It's, it's huh? either we drunken, drunken, hot. Yeah, either we drinking, <laughs> smoking hookah, or or playing games. Well, he it's a like, bitty. He hookah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Damn. that moment happened when I was like twenty before I started doing construction. Where like I was chilling at the crib and all we was doing was drinking, and smoking, and then. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. I passed out, woke up, and just went home. Yeah. And, and, and we was like, yo, that was lit. I'm like. Oh. And, then, no. and then it hit me one time. Yeah. I was just like, I that wasn't that. lit. Yeah. I hate that. That was trash. That was all the time that I was like, yo, why I you didn't invite me, this, that, and the third, yeah. and, and you yeah. went to... Uh, like, in the moment, because it, if it happens, like, once in the blue or yeah. every other time, it's like, hey, it's cool. Yeah. But when one it becomes a pattern, like, yo, every time every we weekend, go out, every two weeks, every time we stay week. in, mm -hmm. we do the same shit, and over there's, and there's no change in conversation. It's, oh, yeah, we're here, and then that's it. Like nah, that's when it becomes. Nah. That's when it becomes like. But it'd be weird because it feel like you the only one that see it. It's like, yeah, it's because like, yeah. you uh -huh. sitting there looking at everybody else. Cool, you, like, you in the matrix, the and then yeah. you unplug. Let's like, well, wait. But all jokes aside, you gotta put it. You gotta put it down and just put it in front of people. Just be like, yo, this is how I'm thinking about this. If mm -hmm. they don't catch on to the vibe, then legit, I'm sorry, you gotta leave them alone. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even choose to do that. I just fell back and tried to just do you figure yeah. it out myself. And, mm -hmm. and, it, and it works It works itself out because those same people who don't want to grow or mm -hmm. they don't see the, the need to grow, they end up naturally just drifting away. Because they see you yeah. going, like, yeah, they're like, they're like, I'm doing this, oh, different. They say you're moving funny. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, that line right there. They say you're moving funny. Because it, it, in the Matrix, remember when he said, oh, not everybody's ready to be unplugged? Yeah. It's so true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's so true. That's right. Because you'll sit here like, yo, wait a minute. Yo, we not doing nothing. I bet. What's your what's your five to ten year plan? Not to interrogate you, but, but yo, so we... Bad. What, what are we doing right it? now? What are, about it. what are the steps? What are the steps? Like you're trying we can, to take the we can, better. We can chill and play ball and and have that conversation after we play ball. Yeah. This is what we do. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, like, and what are the steps that we're going to take to get to this spot? The center there. Some people are so complacent on their everyday life. It's crazy. And you can't have that around you if you are a progressive person. That's all it is. But you know we I mean? all, I feel like we all had like a Neo moment at some point in our life where yeah. we was kind of looking around just like. I'm still in this cubicle. I was like 23, mm -hmm. 22 at that time. That's hitting me now. Yeah. So at, like, least it hit at least it hits you. Yeah, at least it hits you. Yeah. Thing, like, yeah. It's hitting me now. And it's like, yo, somebody, uh, one of my coworkers, because he's he's older than me. So he's like, I think he's like 36 or 35. So he's like, yo, son, my, like, he has a, he's like a fan of Japanese movies and everything. So he has like a sensei, whatever. 
Mm-hmm. So he goes, yo, my sensei came to me. He's like, yo, you know what your issue is? You're drifting. I'm like, drifting? He's like, yeah. You, you're becoming, you, you already reached your adult stage, but you're just drifting. You're still doing the same shit over and over and over, mm-hmm. working odd jobs over and over and over. And everything that you want to do, you're not put. You're, it's like either you're hesitant or afraid to do it. Find an excuse. Or you find an excuse. It's like, yo, I got to pay for this. I got to pay for that. But then you're not taking no risk. Me, I've been in an environment where it's like, yo, we all talk, but there's never any action. Mm-hmm. And I've been in that. And I was in this toxic environment for 10 years. I've been around people for 10 years and just been doing that. I'm not going to take no action or nothing. Dave was the first person I seen actually be like, yo, about to drop all this. I'm about to do comedy. i never forget that day. So and he, he took action. And he so took that action. So that Quit his job, all that. Like, oh, quit his job, yeah. bro. He mm-hmm. was like, yo, we we had a plan. I don't know if you told if you. Told oh yeah, yeah, yeah. When I was um, when I was, was uh, like, what? I think I was 18, eighteen, and I remember we were driving somewhere. It was me, my pops, and my brother. I was like, yo, when I'm twenty five, I'm gonna have a a hundred k. Yep. I'm at hundred a hundred thousand dollars, and I was speaking to everybody. I was like, yo, um, matter of fact, it was just like the four. It was, it was the myself, four. my old, my old friend, and my other man's my neighbor, and we were talking like, I right, bet, yo, if we save up. All of our bread up until like we twenty five. Don't matter what else you got, you could save just a hundred k put on the side because in realistically, even if you work like minimum wage, was that like twenty twenty, like twenty k or some shit that you? I have no clue how much you get. If you manage your money well, well, yeah, if you you manage your money well, because if you stay between the ages of like nineteen to twenty five, unless you want to rush to move out, you really don't have to. Unless life hits you, (laughs) if life hits you, then by all means. But for all intents and purposes, do you need 15K in order to live your life? There's things that you want to do, but you got to quantify wants and needs. Mm-hmm. So I said, I bet if we get to 25 at the time, you'd be, um, by the time I'm 25, you, you were, uh, yeah, you were, yeah, you're 20, 28 and a half. Well, right now I'm 25, but yeah. So I was like, yo, we could just pool our money together. And instead of just, okay, I have 100K, we, the four of us, we got 400K. So what steps can we do to get there? And then once we have that bread, yo, we could just leave wherever the hell we working at and try to maximize this money. Not Look to just that 400. exactly because it's, it's not even we just pull it together because we all in the crib, we living with our parents, not worrying about paying no bills. Mm-hmm. All right, so if you down payment on a multi, exactly. multi apartment, you can buy a, a, a duplex spot and then you can building four hundred k. That's exactly. a building, and yes. you have and now you got leverage anywhere you go. It's not like because when you go buy a car or some shit like that. And the people come to you, you trying to make the deal. The first thing you say, yo, I got cash on me right now. You could take it or leave it. Right. That gives you leverage. Because mm-hmm. right. somebody got to, oh, I got to go to the bank. That time in between, mm-hmm. that can mess up your negotiation because somebody else could change their mind. They can get cold feet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So if you got that direct cash value, yo, you can make moves. Mm-hmm. So once that happens, I'm like, yo, I bet I'm, I'm be with it. But I noticed some of my friends, you know, life was a little bit different for them. Some started working later in their 20s or, you know, they was in school or Others weren't saving their money, so I said, I bet I'm going to do my own thing. And when it came to comedy, and then I started doing that life reflection, figure out where I want to go, say, yo, comedy is what I want to do. I was already on my way to trying to save that 100 k already. I had like $13,000 in like seven, seven months. months. By the time I was like 21. Yeah. Well, yeah, I think yeah, as, as I just turned 21. Just turned 21. And I could have kept going because minimum wage was increasing. I had other, you know, job opportunity, and I was planning like by twenty five, I'm about to have this bread. But then when I went towards comedy, said okay, obviously, realistically, it's not gonna work because if I have to put all my time towards, you know, comedy. But yeah, what I'm gonna money. do is when I'm doing it, all of that bread that I had saved up, that's what's going to fund everything. That's mm-hmm. how I got the cameras, the lights, the freaking backdrop, the tape, everything. So now I'm at a point where I have the cash flow from what I'm doing with with comedy, and now I can. Go and maximize it. So by 30, I can set that. All right. Originally, I was going to have that 100K by 25. Instead of 100K dollars, I got 100K subscribers. So let mm-hmm. me turn what I have now, by the time I'm 30, get to that floor of 100K and have that at least in my bank account. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not to say that's the, oh, that's the goal. I'm going to get to that and I'm living off that. No. Just get that at the floor. Once you figure out how to make $100K, you can figure out how to make a million. Because mm-hmm. it's the same blueprint. You just maximize it with your goal. Yeah. Rinse and repeat. Yeah. yeah. So it's just you got to find a way to grow. But my thing was, if those other people don't want to grow, you can only you know, extend the olive branch. You can point them in the direction like, yo, all right, there's the fountain of growth right there. I'm about to go. You want to come too? 
If they got the Kofi, all right, cool. You could go can't, watch. You got to lead by example. Yeah, you got to lead by example. People gonna see. They gonna be like, yo. That's like the analogy of I'm um, teaching somebody to fish. They gonna, yeah. they're gonna see you got 100k. They're just gonna want 100k. They're yeah. not gonna want to work for it. Mm-hmm. They're not gonna want to learn how to do something in their own way. They're gonna be like, well, what kind of shortcuts did you take? Like, you got to sometimes you got to figure things out yourself. Yeah, you got to tell like, yo, there's well, no, you there's had no shortcut. 700 subscribers, and I was already hyped. I was, yeah, I got 700. Because yeah. 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 when, when I got hyper. to 10, I was like, yo, I got 10. The f- and people would hit me up like, yo, oh, what you doing? Like, now the fact that my DM would get filled with people asking, like, yo, oh, how, how you start on YouTube? Like, dog, you just start. Mm-hmm. Well, honestly, you just start. It took a year for me to get to a 1,000. A whole year. And then I jumped from a 1,000, 25, to 100K. I'm approaching 150 as we speak. And it's going to keep growing because I'm not, I'm not afraid now to go and put out you know, content there. Yeah. That was the growth for me because mm-hmm. an application, that's everything. Yeah. You could talk all day. Mm-hmm. You don't act on it? Yeah. It's clip for you. Yeah. That's a clip for everybody. I'm yeah, like, it's I'm like, what are you doing? Oh, nothing? Boop. <laughs> yeah, that's how you kill that's how you kill that insecure because you just gotta get going. Cause the, the hardest thing is really that first step, but then taking that second one. Because everybody could look at it like, I bet I took the first step. Because they'll say that's the hard thing. I think it's the second one. Because you could take the first one and fail. If you don't know how to deal with that failure, mm-hmm. you about to step back. And, and now ne- you say, all right, never, I got to go take a first step again. Yeah. Yeah. Never make it to the that's second step. Right. Yeah. It's the second step that's the most difficult one. Because like, you can always try to be like, all right, uh, I'm going to put out a video. I'm going to see how this, this plays out. Oh, people, people like my drink. All right, cool. I'm going to the second video. Nobody watched that shit. Mm-hmm. Yo, this ain't for me, son. I just had one chance. That's it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so you I, made two videos. Yeah, you made two Expectation videos. Expectation will kill you. Yeah. Like, my first my first open mic that I did, I actually did decent. But in my mind, I'm like, because when you first write it out and everything, you try, all right, I'm going to figure this one out. Because at first, I wasn't even writing it because I didn't know how to write comedy whatsoever. So I'm like, I bet I'm going to go on stage. I, I got I got this. I, in my mind, I'm like, yo, this applause breaks. I'm only doing five minutes. So I say this. Oh, that's going to be hilarious. Gonna... There were some that hit. There was others that didn't. I never looked at it. Oh, well, this worked. So, okay, I got, this can go somewhere. I'd look at, ah, nah, this didn't. Ah, maybe I'm not as, as funny as I thought. And then I found myself taking the first step, but afraid to take the second because, ah, shit. Now that fear come and get at you. Once you get over that shit, you're perfectly fine. That's a constant battle with that. Yeah, it's a con- yeah, the uh, mental bro. battle. Every day I'm I, like, yo. I, I had somebody hit me up yesterday. They was talking about, yo, they got they they written everything out. They want to go and give it a try uh, in comedy. I'm like, yo, you just gotta go and do it. It's like yo, every time I go to the the comedy clubs, when I go to the bars or wherever it's at, the minute that I'm getting ready to write my name down, the fear kick their ass, and then the next day. Mm-hmm. But that's how you know you're passionate about something because if you go to sleep like yo, why the fuck did I let myself lose? Why and then you I went go that out far about the sign of paper? Yeah, you went. Yeah. You got that far. If, the minute that you needed, do it and you get a, done, that with person it, you just need a friend. To you just be need there somebody to put that push. And that's that extra the push, that extra kick over the top. When well, you, you don't you got that circle of people who's willing to grow, you got to do it yourself. Mm-hmm. So you got to look in the mirror like yo. But how often y'all spend me. time but like by yourself with your thoughts and think things out all the time? Every all day. The time. Yeah, but, that's but why y'all my friends. Because I'm saying. noticing a lot of people are distracted and don't spend time yeah. thinking about why Put do I the act this way? What makes just, me mad? Mm-hmm. What makes me happy? Like, what I want to do in my life? Nah, I'd be like, oh, look at this bitch on this. She looking stupid. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> or you'd be like, oh, son got the new Jordans. Ah. I'm like, but you can't even afford them. Why do you even care? But they, there's two things about it. either one they're completely oblivious to the fact they're not paying attention to themselves, or others is running away they plugged from in. trying to, you know, address the fact that yo, my life is fucked up, and I don't want to take accountability that I'm the one. Yeah, who I got, got you. It some people up. are aware and they just being denial, yeah. or some people yeah. don't know they're in the matrix. Mm-hmm. Denial is a, a month. That and that shit will it. kill. Because especially when pointing out that yo, we know what our insecurities are. At least some of them. Because obviously with all of them, it's, you still got to figure it out. Yeah. But if you just, uh, you know, ah, uh, nah, that's not on me. Somebody else. Uh, maybe they, this only this person. The constant. Up. If you don't oh want to address gosh, it. The, uh, accountability. I, I yo, that when people, when don't people don't have the accountability. They put something up, yeah. somebody else to blame. Mm-hmm. Uh, I Yo, I Sometimes know some people be, like that. Even if it's like technically, quote unquote, not my fault, I'm yeah. still trying to see what I could have done to, you know, maybe what I could have done to make something better. I do that like, all the time. Change yeah. that, like, change the narrative like, of even how if it that wasn't like your, you, It wasn't your fault, and you know it's not your fault, but like maybe if I had this certain, certain, certain way, 
some things, you know, you look for accountability just because. Yeah. Because you want to feel like, all right, let me fix a situation. Next I could have become mm-hmm. more a perfect situation mm-hmm. where there's no, no there's no thing that's perfect, but you can make it close as per, close that, to perfect as you can. That's growth. Right there, because every single time that you in you in a situation with people and some happen, like even if it don't got nothing to do with you, you always think, "What could I have done to aid the situation?" Because there's things that could be out of your hand, but for every situation, you can learn from. I right, yeah. next time I'll move this way. So even though this ain't happened to me, mm-hmm. I'll make sure first, it's not going to happen. First That's of why all, I, I move now. I live, I live, I live my life mm-hmm. off of seeing other people's situations yeah. and understanding off of other people's situations how, okay, I can approach it this way, I can approach it that way. If I approach it the same way that they did, I might get the same results that they did or I might get something different. But if I take this path, it might be a little bit different or uh, uh, a higher chance of a, out, uh, a better outcome. People don't do that. People see the other person. Oh, that's not going to happen to me. And rush right into it. Then yeah. like, what happens to them, they're upset. That they yeah. have options of different paths yeah. to take. Exactly. Exactly. Y'all just going to have to like, you learn from others' mistakes or you have to go yeah, through it yourself. Yeah, or you got to go through yourself. Yeah. I'm I that learned, person. I'm I that kid from, that got, I got... I learned from everyone else. Yeah, he learned I, from everybody. Yeah. I'm the kid that touched the stove because I got to know if it's hot. Yeah, no. So I'm, I learned that through life. I, I see... You see? I would see him get... I would see him get burned and I'd be like, I'm not touching yeah, that. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Like, they had a quote. I think it was like, Roy, it was like Roy, Roy Williams or something like that. I don't even know if it was from the coach. He was like, yo, the, um, the smart man watches like the dumb man make a mistake and then the smart man tries his best not, not to make the, the wise mistake. man watch the smart man watch the dumb man and just mm-hmm. avoid the avoid whole, whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, so that's like crazy. you just you see. Yo, like, that's yo, why I, I chill and observe people. Yeah, I, I love observe, observe people. Observe OD. Uh, and people be like, yo, why you just watch? No, you learn. I'm not learning. Yo, yeah. actions. That's you. Yeah. You're at. You're a creature of habit. All yeah. you do is watch your actions. It's like if you, for right. example, like anytime you get like getting on the bus or something like that, right? If you see one person get on the bus and they ask the bus driver, oh, yo, I ain't got no mention the bus driver. You see a second person get on. But yo, I don't got no no pass. I, 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 but by the time if you know you don't got or you not try if you want to, hey, I'm gonna hit him with this. Oh wait, I don't got it. it. Go away with it. I don't got it. Like, but if, if you just if oblivious, people, and now you, but there's people who abuse uh, that. But hold no, no, up. If you don't, if you do it once in a while, get annoyed. Yeah, yeah. and now you got to pay. You out here every yeah. day I, knowing that you don't I, got I, no I money for metro card fare. What are you doing with your life? You don't got no metro card fare. For the pa- I lived in where I live now for the past fourteen years. I still see the same people begging for a swipe for the train. Mm. I just can't get to the train station because my the bus is far. Just like yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you, you, it's, yeah. It, it's a yeah the train station I mean, is close. Yeah, you see people who just it's how how are you still in this position and you comfortable with it. Mm-hmm. Like, that's day. how I look at I look at like homeless. Begging. I look at homeless people. There's there's levels. You have the bums. Mm-hmm. And you got people who just don't got no house. Yeah. With the bums, I always looked at it like, yo, homeless people, you, it's a commitment to be homeless. You got to commit to that There's shit. There's so many programs that help yeah. you get back on your feet. It's yeah. like, you're making you, a choice. Bro. You yeah. out here, you mean to tell me you on this corner every single day? You're like, yo, I need a couple of change. I need some change. You never once went on some, yo, let me go out. Let me go try to hustle. Let me go and figure something. I saw some uh, quote the other day. When I'm like, yo, you never seen a crackhead who can't find a way to get cracked. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And I That's found that true. shit so hilarious, but it's so true. Oh, yeah. so you got crackheads who hustling to fuck their life up, but they out there every single day. Yo, I'm gonna figure out a different way to get some my hands on some crack. Mm-hmm. The way you could hustle to go get that crack, you could do that same shit to get yourself in a crack. That's a whole different get a piece. job. Addiction and drugs. Yeah, you need to be addicted to well, trying to get yourself better too. Yeah. Learn what you 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 know if, if learn that you have an addictive personality and then find something positive to be addicted to. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cause you're not gonna you're not gonna stop being a, have that addictive personality. That's you. That's but true. you just gotta apply find it. out, aim it, aim no. that, and mm-hmm. then uh, apply that's it. Why, like um, what's the, for people that be addicted to tobacco, they be putting um, the nicotine, the patches, the nicotine, oh, yeah. and then uh, uh, in the movie Fast Five with Gal Gadot and uh, Han, when mm-hmm. he was eating the chips, she like, yo, you a two pack a day guy. And he's like, oh, how you tell? Because you always find it something to eat. Yeah. Like, you always he, move. He, oh, the Asian pushed, dude. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he put it somewhere else. He put it to eating. Yeah. Like, he, he put, put it, it to, to eating eat the chips he instead of smoking a, cig- like, smoking a cigarette. Yeah. Smoking a cigarette. Yeah. Creature's a habit. It is. Mm-hmm. It's a habit. I'm happy you brought that up about like addiction. Because people, there, there's people who know they're addicted and they still wilding. There's other people who joke, like, they don't know. They got to have that come to Jesus moment. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. But then, uh, with the people who know, but then they still go and do it. It's like a, I, I see it's a battle every single day. Mm-hmm. But then, like, your friends around you. That's why I always thought, like, the people who you got around you, they got to hold you accountable. Like, you're not supposed to take all of the pressure 
on your own shoulders and feel like it's your responsibility? Because that's one of the problems that I had. I'm like, yo, if I'm your friend and I see you got a problem, it's on me to make sure you pull yourself out. Because I can't save everybody, but I could damn give it a try. I could run into the burning building and at least try to pull the body out instead of just looking like, yo, the burning I'm going to at least say it's on fire. So, yeah. So, yo, why, yo, you know, I know you're going in there, but mm -hmm. it's on fire. Yeah. All right, man. Because me, I always, <laughs> yeah, fair enough. It don't, make, it don't make you right, a bad bro. person. It don't make you a bad person because it's not your job. Mm -hmm. For me, like just like I always think, like what could I have done to aid, like make it better? My only issue is if you see a problem, you complain about it, and you do no steps to try to grow out of it. Like if you if you have an addiction, you know you have an addiction. You're not taking steps to try to prevent that addiction. Just want to complain about it. Again. You just complain about it. Yo, you <laughs> you, you, you want me to hear this story again? Yeah. I don't want to hear this story yeah. again. Yeah, you talked oh, about what you need to do, and you still. Nah, but it's like, oh, yeah. and it's a, and it's not even with just like a self sort of addiction. To, it's like anything in life. Like right. when you got problem with managers, you got all this other stuff. Like even with because for myself, when I was like getting blocked left and right. I found myself in a situation where I was like, yo, I'm always complaining about this. Ain't nothing else I could do. It's out of my power. What is me just sitting over here like, oh, this is fucked up. I'll point it out now. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to bitch and moan about but you it. you laugh about it now. Yeah, I'll laugh about yeah. it now. Like, yeah, because, yeah, because the people who saw it before from when I was complaining about it, they yeah. would think I'm still in the same spot. Nah, but hold on, now bro. I laugh. You, have, you had a friend in him also. Yeah. Remember, you complained about it. He was like, yo, bro, it's nothing that's going to mm -hmm. change. You got to keep doing your thing. This, that, and the third. I remember in the chat, you actually wrote that to mm -hmm. him. And that's why I already shut down. Yeah, I remember, <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> I remember that. Yeah, and, and you get what I'm saying? And, mm -hmm. and I swear to you, I sat back in my own crib. I'm like, yo, he dead right. Bro, yeah. you just got to keep doing your thing. You mm -hmm. get what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, people going to hate. Look, I saw the latest one where you got blocked for a certain amount of seconds. Yeah. I watched the whole video and everything. I'm just like, there was no need for this. You know what I mean? It just but you, like but, it. But, now, but now, instead of getting frustrated and angry and this, you laugh this during all because you're just like, man, they just trying to get me. I'm that's still going to do my thing. That's a the whole the separate segment that you got now. Every yeah. time you get blocked, you just Yeah, it's, it. it's, yeah. It's, it's, you could dead have it as a whole segment. Like, man, man, I was childish. I was Blocked like, again like, today. Like, I what was else? looking at I was like, that's like only five seconds. I was bugging. And out. And block the whole, I'm like, it didn't make any sense. I saw it too. I saw like, it too. What would you, what would you say for, for you? Like, because we have like the steps that I would take, the steps that he take, get over the insecurity. Because with you, and you're saying like the speed of the, the speed of how you speak and everything like that. What are the different sort of steps? Because you say speak a little bit slower, but now in the case of speaking with other people, trying to get off of your chest the way that you want to speak. It's just What's, this constant communication. Mm -hmm. As we all adults say, we go through the process of going to interviews, doing presentations. If you went to school, doing presentations, and yeah, not even if you're just going to school. If you like own a business, if you're doing a um, seminar, you just speak, yeah. and you mm -hmm. learn to just cope and learn how to um, put a tone on how you speak and certain things like that. So you was practicing. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like you took read a book on how to speak. Yeah, so. you just you just talk. And so like like you said earlier, we um have time with ourselves. I'm not gonna lie. I talk to myself, not like like a crazy person. Like yo, the the moon and the stars. I have a, like a silver. Um, no, you practice. Yeah, you, you just talk, talk things out in your mind. You just, sometimes you say things aloud. And it makes more sense aloud than saying in your head. And you just that's it. That's it. Yeah, <laughs> that makes sense. That makes sense because a lot of people they be. I always found it frustrating when it's like yo, oh you talking to yourself, yo you crazy. Nah. There's like there's a difference between yeah, there's a crazy level. and just talking to yourself. You like, mm -hmm. yeah. like you suddenly you walk in. Did I buy that at the grocery store today? That's not crazy. I just trying to remind you. Yo, so I learned to not overthink that. Shit. Yeah, because when you're by yourself, you're literally by yourself. Nobody sees you talking to yourself. Nobody's gonna mm -hmm. judge you. Yeah. Work that out your mind. Yeah. Work it out. Talk out loud. Who cares? And but if it's on some shit like yo, son, some conspiracy theory, then you like, all right, now you're probably taking right. it too far. But you know, <laughs> if it's like a little like, all right, did Calm I put gas down, in my car? Sis. It's like, is my lights on? So, oh, did I close my car door before I go inside? Yeah. Like, yeah. I, I, mean, I, I found found like, like a, a quick little <laughs> yeah. rehearsal, like just talking stuff out loud, the same things out loud. Just, that's yo, it. I did sometimes. It's when a I difference. Work, I was dead after the week was over. I replayed the whole week in my mind and see what I did, what I did mm -hmm. wrong. Did I communicate effective today? Did how did I treat this dude today? Did I give him good advice, or was I mean? Or did I have to talk that like, like, like that? Like that's, yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah, everybody. Yeah. Every, I feel like everybody does that. So it's like mm -hmm. that's not really crazy. It's just you just have to just constantly communicate. Do it. Hope everybody does that. But I, a lot I of people they don't even like. Once I start approaching life like a kid and trying to figure things out, so I kind of approach it as a scientist when I interact with people. I was like, if I say this, this make the person feel good. I feel good at the same time too. All right, I'm gonna keep this going. Yeah. I feel good. You feel good. Because some people are just one side. I just want to talk and get off my point. I don't mm -hmm. care how you feel. Right. Then they do the same thing. Instead of, how can I help this person and also help 
me as a person mm-hmm. grow and help them grow. And that once I started doing that, I was like, all right, cool. And also, it's like, if you do certain things good or well, I should say, you don't always want somebody speaking for you. Yeah. So sometimes it's like you get to a point that's like embarrassing. I have to have him talk to me about my. Like if it was my success and somebody asked me how I did that, I don't want to be like, well, let me talk to, talk to my brother or talk to my friend because he could re- like, you know, I, I don't want to go up and be like, since it was my idea and this and the third, Blah, you could do it. Yeah. Because people say like, yo, you did a good you job. Do you want to present that role? And sometimes I'll be like, not really. But then since it's like, since if I did do it, I might as well speak on it since it was me instead yeah. of having somebody mm-hmm. else relay my message or how I did certain things. Yeah, I might as well take control, control yeah. of this. Anyway. Yo, so just like, constant I, communication. I, like, like at first I was scared to be a foreman, like try to run work. And then after a while, I was just like, why am I holding myself back? Because it, other if, if you're doing it, it already and the only thing that's stopping you is communicating, you're just going to have to get over that. Yeah, it's just like, what? It's like that all the time because once you start communicate, in my opinion, that's the biggest loss art now because with social media and everything on the internet going, people don't know how to speak to each other no more. Mm-hmm. And then since pe- it's like, all right, I'll put out a tweet, but you couldn't even say that tweet in real life. Mm-hmm. I'll write this as a comment. You couldn't write that. You couldn't say that comment in real life. Mm-hmm. So how you really feel about situations, you can't go and say that in order to grow. Like- and it's ridiculous. The one instance I had about that, it was like about a few years ago. Remember when the balls were like a big thing? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I watched a lot of interviews. So on um, yeah, all the balls. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, I watched a lot of interviews. So one of the <laughs> on YouTube, uh, I watched the part one of five interviews when they had the whole family there. The youngest one, the mellow, yeah. he, he didn't say nothing. a word. He was like so shy. And I was like, why are you so shy? But then you, then I think it was a point when he was talking about social media. He had a whole bunch of stuff on social media, but like, but when you in the interview, you just mad quiet. Ew. And I'm saying yeah. that's kind of that's a goes to your point. Everybody's like tech savvy and social media savvy, mm-hmm. but when it comes to a person, they lose that touch, like how to really communicate. Yeah, like I don't know for There's what. a difference between being shy and then just holding. Yeah, like, just you know, like they don't back. know how to speak, and that's yeah. like that's kind of kind of weird that you know you your pops or your older brother so saying that, and the two middle brothers is not saying a word. They're just like, uh, I don't know, ask my dad. <laughs> you know, yeah. Especially when you get old Like at 16 I guess it kind of makes sense But then now He's 18 So you would hope You'd mm-hmm. be able to get Out of your shell Because that will build The biggest resentment or Especially towards his pop Because he'll feel like Yo, My whole life My pop's been speaking Because and that's what It was the whole interview They would ask him a question And he would just smile, smile Giggle and look away And just ask my pop So ask my older brother It's mm-hmm. like So he has no yeah, but look at his father. His father's all out there, so yeah. he just, his father's not afraid to speak. I'll give him that. Yeah. But you know, sometimes you gotta then. speak. But yeah. You gotta remember though, he's from that. He's from a whole different area where that didn't exist. Now, that social media you part. Have, mm-hmm. Yeah, social media where you can hide behind the screen. I can talk all day. I don't gotta talk to you in person. But yeah, now when I'm in person, so. conversation is trash. But one day you gotta go outside. These kids not anymore. Not, not, anymore. not anymore. Because imagine, everything like, is delivered to you. Yeah, all exactly. that, bro. You're not going nowhere. Right. They just communicate you, you, through you got internet. Every act possible to Uber you. eats. Yeah. You don't gotta go somewhere. I'm watching the video. That's actually wild. That's mad unhealthy. You have to go outside because mm-hmm. I really feel I better agree. when I go outside, simply mm-hmm. walking to the gym. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I like to just walk slow, just to enjoy the edge, just yeah. to be outside. I don't need my. I just love the it's fact that I'm not attached to my phone like I that. I don't even like listen to music like that. I'll just walk out. So I'll hear yeah. different conversation. You'll hear nature. Mm-hmm. It's like you, you you feel alive, in a sense. When you constantly got stuff in your ears, you got stuff in front of you. To you're distracted. Up. You're tuning out the world. You're tuning everything out, and then when real life hit, you don't know how to deal with that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, you, you're so accustomed to just being in this. Matrix world. It's shell. So is yeah. anybody Bubble. reading anything to better themselves? I haven't in the past like two months. Last thing I read, Last I don't remember the name boy. of the book. Because a lot of issues come from that. You're not confident in yourself. So uh, why don't you just look back, just look at back yourself and see what you need to work on and work on it and get better. I got I got several books here that um, one of them is The Obstacle Is You. Mm-hmm. As uh, our cousin gave us that, I have, I have books like I got mad books. Forty eight laws of power. What's stopping you from reading? Yeah, what's stopping you from reading? I don't, I don't reading? know. It's like my attention span is just. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> this is what I did because I was I didn't used to read for like a year and a half ago. That's when I started reading. Uh huh. I would just start reading a page, just a page, mm-hmm. just a page. Yeah, just get in the habit of just doing a page. Of people saying I read this book in two days. And the book is like this thing. Yeah. Like, well, yeah. Take it's not time. about speed. You yeah, gotta read it. Yeah. Read to understand. Yeah. Because exactly. I used to read. I used to read all day back when I was younger. It's just I don't know. Like you was reading Zane. Probably because you ain't got no incentive to do it no more. Because before yeah. you read, then you got an assignment. My incentive is life. 
it, that's why I'm so passionate about reading. Like, it wasn't school that made me read back then. Like, mm-hmm. I I had school. I Sex read book. in school, but <laughs> wow. The I, I, I had Kama Sutra. Shout out they, to the book. Mm-hmm. Shout out to the book. So I had books that I would read and whatnot, but then there were certain books that like I was in, I was interested in. Like, uh, I read Scorpions, which was by Earl D. Myers, Walter D. Myers, something mm-hmm. like that, based on like a book that I read in school, and I ended up translating into other yeah. books. So it's like I right. then later on in life, it's like I I'm not I don't know what it was. It's weird. Like I sit in, like, I sit here. Dave can attest to you. I sit here right here. I'm like, yo, I'm gonna read this joint. I'm gonna work on this. No, and don't talk I, I about it. Like, Be about it. I don't know what it is. It's like if you did, it's that's just, something that you, you gotta, gotta explore. Yeah, like, because there's, there's a constant block yeah, every block. single day that's preventing you from mm-hmm. doing something that you used to do. Yeah. I don't know what it is. It's a fear. I, of that too, it, but I don't know what it is. It'd be a fear. Because, like, if I, what happens if you read that book? What happens after? Somebody going to shoot you? <laughs> there's literally no downside. No so downside. it's like there, there's something what that's I, there no. that's preventing you from, from mentally. From there's something that you got to, you know, go and explore. Like, I don't know. I, I got to figure that out. Like, I, used to make, that. I used to make beats. We figured it out right now. I huh? block. Yeah. I, I used to read. I block. I had this, this the web series that I started. I did my character development and all that. Hold on, though. It doesn't. You think it goes back to what you said? You had ten straight years of being with the same people, doing the same yeah, thing over and over. Yeah, over. That's how you fall into that trap. So yeah. you probably felt into Their the trap a little bit. Came yeah. to you, yeah, and now you got that aura just being. But now, but now that you uh, have you know. acknowledgement, this, that, and the third, you are separating yourself little by little. Maybe that stuff might come back. Also, you may pick up a book, see if it's. You know the reading Don't comes back. Don't rush. All the other Take stuff. your time. Yeah. A page, bro. Mm-hmm. A page. It could be a page every other day. The fact that you even understand that and you took the step back already is already a big like plus on your end. Because you, you know could have I mean? still been hanging out. Yeah. There. Another yeah, the same ten years go by. Yeah. Risk too. That's another big one on everything. Here mm-hmm. is yeah. risk. Are you willing to risk what your original, you know, a uh, uh, methodical system is? That you have going on. Were you doing the same stuff every single day? Are you r- willing to risk, you know, what you are doing to mess up that sort of system mm-hmm. that you had going on? It's just because it's like when, when we were talking about, you know, how every day is like damn near the same. Yeah. Like you're going to be doing different stuff, but then you know, I wake it. up at this time, I go to the gym at this time, I go to work, I come back home at this time. But what you do in that time is what matters. Like you could do that with that same structure, mm-hmm. but you could do something different every single time. It's like what Sandin Sharp said one time on the, his show on with the skip. He was like, I could go to the gym, but what are you doing at the time of the gym? Yeah. I go, I'm in the gym for three hours, and you're just not doing nothing at the mm-hmm. gym for three nothing hours. Nothing progressive. Yeah. You so just like, there. You go in the gym, but you have to do something to make that time, you know, it could be still something. be the same. System. It has to mean something. Well, you just said three hours yeah. of reading. If you just skimming just, through it, you just wasted three yeah. hours. Yeah. yeah, if you're not really like putting, you're if you're just going to the gym just to take, for an hour if you're going to the gym taking days. flicks, but instead of actually doing workouts, you're not going to oh, like why am I gaining? I'm not yeah. gaining no gains. What are you really do that doing? Too. I'm yeah. not doing nothing. Oh, it's gotten crazy now. It's gotten crazy. The 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 attention for for the or I should say the necessity for likes that people have social media and they mind is crazy. I used to be in the gym with uh with with Brent. And we'd be in the gym for mm-hmm. three and a half hours. And we would be working out for maybe like an hour and a half, really. But the other time, we would just get lost in conversation. It wasn't until like one, after like a month, like, yo, how we be in the gym for three and a half hours? What the hell we be doing? <laughs> <laughs> and then we just sat there. But that, like, that's only a bad thing because, like you said, you're having good conversation. Yeah, we're having that good, good conversation, conversation is actually building towards something, would, though. And then we would start to observe because when we started to say, oh, wait a minute. No, we could get our, our workouts done without getting lost in the conversation. But we started looking around. So there's other people who've been going to the gym with us too. Like they weren't working out with us, but we stayed in the gym too. Regular. So you look around like, yo, this person been in here the same time I have, but they ain't touch no weight. Yeah, they ain't get on no ellipt- uh, elliptical. They ain't get on no treadmill. So we in, we actually doing some, but prolonging how long we here. Mm-hmm. These people just here just to be here. You want to yo? We in the gym. It's like when our uh, uh, Planet Fitness when they got the uh, the pizzas. <laughs> on every first Monday, and then the bagels in the morning. That didn't make first, any sense. Every second that sounds Tuesday. mad kind of put the yeah. was yeah yeah. And Planet Again, Fitness that was yeah. P- Planet Fitness Man. every every first Monday in the afternoon they they have free pizzas there. There was times where myself and uh, um and Jimmy we would be in there and getting pizzas. When we get done, we go <laughs> oh, yeah we go get some pizza. There was a dude who'd only come to the gym <laughs> on, <that> on <laughs> Mondays, <laughs> and yo yeah. I'm eating like. 12 slices of pizza because they don't stop. The pizza's coming at like four, maybe it's at like two. 
It Yo, don't stop until man. they close. Same thing's got a scam going on. It's the ultimate. Because you got people who just, yo, yeah, I'm about to go work out. And then at the end of the day, it's like, I'm eating all these people. You extremely counterproductive. Mm-hmm. Yo, so what are you doing with your time? Exactly. But what are you doing with your time that you go in places? So in order to break the cycle, you got to be willing to risk, you know, be, be willing to risk willing breaking up that cycle. Mm-hmm. And, but that's a fact. Because I, when I started thinking about it like that, like if I eat that pizza, I got to be in the gym like another hour and a half to do yeah. this and that. And I'm mm-hmm. like, bro, I don't got time for that. Mm-hmm. Like, and speaking of, speaking of <laughs> like a risk, like I always told myself if I became a teacher or something like that, <laughs> Because a lot of teachers always be it's like, I never plan on becoming a teacher. My yeah. first thing would be like, no matter what class I'm teaching, would be failure is an option. Yeah. Because a lot of people say failure is an option. People always think they have to hit a home run the yeah. first goal. Like you said, you you go on stage and you fail. Some people be like, well, I didn't I didn't succeed. I'm out of here. Like no, you're going to fail at life. Yeah. Because you hear the stories about the, these billionaires, millionaires, whatever. They failed fifty times, two times, three times, whatever the number of times. Mm-hmm. I know that the um. Thing was dramatic decrease, yeah. but like you fail once and then you learn from that mistake and you find another revenue to make that That's more successful. What it is, though. It's about Failure learning is an option. The, yeah. It's about so learning. Don't be afraid to fail. Don't just think everything you touch is going to turn to gold. Yeah. You're not Midas. Yeah. That's a great thing. And when you do something, even though you fail, you did it. Yeah. And you yeah. got so much to learn from that. Yeah. Like, the, video <laughs> thing, the video thing, I was mad nervous that when I finally just sat there and shot it and I had the camera and doing it, and then after I looked at it, I was like, Oh, you bitch, that was mad. It wasn't that serious. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You overthought that in your head. But it's the build up to get, because you got to actually go and do it and then after like, yo. But then again, perspective. Because you could look at it like, yo, when you grow. Because the one thing that I learned about with losing, when I was in high school, I would always say, yo, I got to have the best performance. We got to win. And in every, I never took the time to, yo, you're going to learn and you're going to grow. It was either it's all good or it's all bad. Right? And then I start when I got older, I started looking at things differently. Like you look at Michael Jordan, he got six championships, but he played fifteen years. So there was nine years he ain't win. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's only Bill Russell and a few other people are the only people who can say, "Yo, I won more than I lost." Brady yeah. got six Super Bowls, but he been but in the league for nineteen years. Yeah, 19, so you years. you lost and had your head down for thirteen. So if you put stuff in perspective, you you more fail. Often than not, you fail more than you win. Yeah. But the wins feel so huge, Ooh, you don't take time to is, acknowledge the failures. That's a mic drop right there. Hit that. that is a crazy. If you take analogy. time to, if you take time to acknowledge, no, like yo, like I it. failed. They, they, all they talk about is six it's, rings, it's, but it's they don't rings. talk about all the other seasons exactly. he exactly. didn't win. People everybody, just, everybody, everybody just thinks if you don't, if hurt. you don't win, then you nothing. Like know. there's yeah. gains and losing. Not necessarily. Look at LeBron. Look at LeBron. You went to eight consecutive NBA finals. Yeah, that was total. crazy. And you won only two. won three. Like, think about the two thought of yeah, somebody saying, yo, he only got three rings. Yo, this is when I know my perspective changed. Because I'm just like, I talked to my mom. I was like, yo, if he brings the Lakers to the finals, this dude is great. Granted, he didn't win all the finals. But the fact that somebody could take a dude to a team, a one dude, and yeah. then all of a sudden your team in the final the next season. Yeah. Come on. It's crazy. And then Come on. The people it's, who've never been there at all have been there once thinking they're going they're going to get there again and they exactly. never do it. That's yeah, what makes Newton, it more Ball, in that perspective. Mm-hmm. Like, yo, I'm, I, like Iverson probably he low when he lost, probably think I'm probably gonna make it again. And yeah. he never made it after that. Marino. And I, like that's yeah. and Iverson's one of the best basketball players yeah. to ever touch the court. Yeah. Because they there are there are greats who never who never accomplished anything. And although well not accomplished anything, but they never they never won that team mm-hmm. championship. championship yeah. And Although they're probably somebody going about that, but they, <laughs> they um they never got that silent. team championship, right? That so they they'll sit there like, all right, what do you quantify as success? Is it all individual sort of success because we didn't get the huge you know payoff? No. Or do I say you know what? It just ain't play out in that <laughs> way. But individually, we, we had some great teams along the road. That's why I see people who always discount greatness or anything in life. Because one thing about if you take a step away from sports. And you go into like entertainment or anywhere. How often do people even have that pop champagne moment in life? Mm-hmm. If you're working at a cubicle, what gives you that elation? Then you gotta ask That's yourself: it. Do you want a pop champagne? Exactly. <laughs> Is that your vibe? Is that what, what you, you want, want to do? do? People compare their life like, ah, oh, no, I gotta have this sort of hot. Maybe that's not even what you want to do. Yeah, I'll be looking at Instagram, some of the stuff they be doing. I'm like, I'm not even feeling. I, I'm not into that. The, the, all that, the pop. I'm like, no, nah, I'm good. You searching for something? Yeah, they want the likes. I like you strip clothes, but like the the popping bottles. Yeah, like, that that whole that I don't whole idea like defeats the purpose to me. But like, I, like you go to work. Or you have a nine to five, or whatever, and then 
you throwing bread like just for hours. Yo, these girls have jobs and keep going to vacations every year. I'm like, yo, where y'all be getting this money where from? I know it's discounts and all that stuff, yeah. but like, why don't you save this money, invest it, and then mm-hmm. you could go on vacation forever. Yeah. That's where I be you at. Live like, on I, vacation at that level. Yeah, I don't be like but overdoing like with vacations. Like I'm like, I'm cool with saving my money, stacking it up, and then when I'm older, vacation the rest of my life. That's yeah. it. And then now it's like we um I look at the the Caribbean parents, for example, that, that came over. A lot of them never had no plan either. So it's like when it comes to the whole vacationing thing, I retire, I'm gonna stay home. Or nah, some random job like that. But it's like they didn't have time to figure out what they like. Yeah, you know? so a, lot, a lot of the yeah, because a lot had to sacrifice. Yeah, yeah they sacrifice. Sacrifice, sacrifice was at the the highest. That point. happens to a lot of parents, like young parents today too. So it's like I, I, well, depending on who they are, because I see young some, young can't be in denial. They like, be in some other. They be on some other. Like okay, my grand, my parents are still here. They got grandparents. I'm gonna drop the kid. I'm gonna wild out. Like, nah, you signed I mean, up for that every But that's the, that's that's that. another thing where um I started to sit and think about people who. Like had a kid young, they don't necessarily. I'd I'd have to say I can't give a percentage because obviously I didn't see all of them. But from what I've been able to observe, a lot of those parents never grew out of yo. I'm a kid and now I have to be an adult. It's just yo. I'm a kid raising a kid, so I'm still going to do kid shit mm-hmm. because I've never had the opportunity to grow out of adolescence. It was a circumstance that put me in this situation. Yeah, they so they don't have the resentment towards position. their kid because the kid pretty much fucked up their life and their plans. So they sit there like, yo, I could have been doing this if I ain't have your bum ass. Resentment. <laughs> <laughs> resentment. <laughs> lot, they don't even have to say it. They yeah. just do it. See the yeah. yeah, and then that follows the kid because the kid sees the res- they see mm-hmm. the actions. Mm-hmm. They was like, mm-hmm. yeah, I know you say you love me, but the way you be treated. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Boy. And you sit there and then when you get around other kids and they family, like if you if you came from an environment where you thought it was a loving environment and then you go to somebody crib and, and you see kid. how they family treat them. You start, oh, oh fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, you mean to tell me they went to every dance recital? They went to every basketball game? Mm-hmm. Wait a minute, they went to, you was you was playing the clarinet somewhere? Your whole family came out? Wait a minute. Mm-hmm. Wait, they support your dreams? Shit. Wait a minute. You know, some real shit, that, that helped me get over my father. Mm-hmm. Like, when I really looked back, I was like, yo, my mother and my sister came to my games. Mm-hmm. But Everyone he never at, came to my game. Yeah. But at some point, I'm though, at the know. kid, you have to take pers- perspective. Because, like you said, it, w- it would be nice. Yeah. But sometimes you're going to understand the struggle that your parents are putting no, as a kid. Absolutely. Some kids are mature. Like, like, for me, for instance, I played the saxophone once. My mother didn't get to see me play the saxophone, but my stepfather, y'all know I call my dad. He came to my he came to my recital, my, my recital and I was like, yo, I appreciate that man for that. Yeah. My mother couldn't come to all my football games. Mm-hmm. She came to like about three because I know she was working. Yeah. So she to those one those one or two that she came Bro, to. That's I was like, different. yo, yeah, but that's different. Yeah, but yeah. That, that's that's, that's what, what I'm saying. You, it you, takes yeah, if the, the kids are mature, if the kids are mature enough, yeah. enough yeah. Yeah. they're gonna be like, I understand. But some kids just be like, I want everything. The other way, like, you can't some because it's on the parent mentality, also on the kid to have that level of understanding. Yeah, because the kid obviously, if you're young, you're malleable. Anything will get to you. But if you're, if you can say the the parent tells the chick, the kid, this is what the situation is. But don't like build that kid's mind. Don't say, yo, I'm gonna come to every single game, and then you you don't even pop out for none. Mm-hmm. Don't keep telling them the day of when you know you're not gonna make it. Like it's, it's like if it's a parent on some on some ain't shit shit. Like yo, I'm gonna come to your game, but you don't come because you were just at at the crib watching football yeah. game high. But the yeah. thing yeah. was, that's, that's fucked up. I had to learn. Well, it's not. I'm not gonna say he ain't shit. I've just gotta learn. He made an active decision not to be involved in my life. Mm. My mother and sister made an active decision to come to my game. Yeah, yeah. they didn't have to come to the game. Mm-hmm. They just act in the game. Oh, I gotta show up. So over the years, I'm just like, all right. He, why am I saying I love this dude? He ain't putting no work in. Yeah, love is something that's earned. And yeah, in the yeah. in the long run, yeah, he probably gonna be like, yeah, when you was a kid, I gave you money, money and stuff. I'm like, cool, but I'm still alive. Mm-hmm. Where you at? Mm-hmm. Yeah. People yeah. vibe, they, they look at money more than th- more, more than, than time. More than time. Time is way that's more. When that whole relate, the, the relationship time is the yeah. be, end yeah. or be all, man. That's it. Mm-hmm. Time is embarrassed. When, I was so angry one time. I punched a hole in the wall in front of my mother. Mm. <clears throat> Five minutes later, I'm bowling out crying because I realized that was crazy. That's my mother. She put in the work to, to have love. Like she put that mm. work in. Mm. And when I did that, I was like, 
that's what changed my life because I was just like, all right, I'm gonna appreciate the people who put in work. Exactly. Mm-hmm. You gotta look at love rather than look at the hate. Y'all put in work. We all put in work to be. Y'all friends. look at the love. The minute you you, you stop looking like yo, chill. I ain't looking at the hate no more. Like yo, I'm tight about this. When you focus more on negative things in your day, your whole day gonna be shot. Mm-hmm. Like with mm-hmm. anger, anger is really something that lasts for such a small burst. Mm-hmm. One of the greatest things I heard like but two it weeks can ago. Fuck up your it can whole fuck up your whole thing. Two weeks time. ago, I heard it can on be this short thing that fuck up everything. Mm-hmm. With anger, you usually like nine times out of ten, the thing or the person who made you upset, you don't even take your anger out on that. Mm-hmm. You take it out on somebody else who you believe will forgive you. Mm-hmm. So I could get cut off at 8.30 and I'm tight in the car. The person who cut me off ain't thinking about me. Mm-mm. It's not like, oh, I just cut that person off. Damn, I should pull over. Go the they mm-hmm. going by wherever the hell they going. You going to sit over here tight from 8.30. It's now 12. You still upset about this. So when somebody come up, yo, hey, how's it going? Good morning. Now, fuck out of here. Don't talk to me. Whoa. That's when I got my God complex. When I yeah. realized, I was like, when dudes talk about me behind my back to other people, I'm like, you had me on your mind, bro. Mm-hmm. I was not thinking about you. How do you feel about that? You was thinking about another man that's <laughs> not around and you thinking about talking All about day. him. You his fan. Thank you. Want my autograph, bro? Nah, that's what. What you said kind of helped me and my mother get a better relationship. Me and my mother are already cool, but we have a strong relationship now because she used to be like that. She would get mad at work because she has a difficult job dealing with yeah. people like that. But she used to get, she would come home mad, angry. And then one day I was just like, yo, mom, I don't, I'm not at your job. I don't know what gets you tight. You just came home. I'm just saying, how, how you doing? You already mad at me. Mm-hmm. And then she was like, you're right. You wasn't at work with me. It wasn't your fault. I apologize. Mm-hmm. Like, All right, cool. And now we got a better thing because she knows like when she when she at work, she, that people at work got her tight. Yeah. I didn't do anything to her because mm-hmm. I, I talked to my mother every day. So yeah. she like, I call people. All That's beautiful time. that y'all was able to communicate and break yeah. it down. Yeah. Like, whoa, yeah. it's not coming from me. It's coming. From, okay. I've yeah. had the opposite. I, 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 I had the opposite <laughs> of that yeah. with my mom yeah. because for for me and I'm I, um uh I, 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 after I finish now you go because you had a thought just now. Well, but uh yeah, I thought you had a thought because you was gonna say something. No, nah, it was just a big. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 but just with my mom, my th- my joint was, I saw she would just have like there's just resentment, anger, all this other stuff, and she don't necessarily take it out on us. It just she'll be taking it out, and then all of a sudden we just get caught in like the crossfire. Mm-hmm. So it'll already be happening, just talk about nothing, like to herself mm-hmm. or whatever. And then we just happen to be here, we get caught with it. So I tried to multiple times just sit down like, yo, oh, what's going on? Just try to figure different things out. Yeah. But it just seems like there's a barrier there that I think she's not ready for that sort of conversation or even mm-hmm. the acknowledgement of what it is that she's doing. Because when I do fucked up shit, I, I immediately, right after I'm like, oh, that shit was fucked up. You know, if mm-hmm. I'm wrong, I'll apologize. But from what I learned was there's different sort of outlets that you can do because you can just separate. So I can just, all right, you know what? In order to avoid this entire thing, I'm just not going to talk. Mm-hmm. I'm just not going to talk. Because this way I avoid it. I'll find different ways to get out of my system what I feel, put it in different sort of places. I'll make sure that you know how I feel, but I'm not going to meet you with that same energy because that, that ain't going to go nowhere. Yeah, that's your we energy. both tight. We just, yeah, I, yeah, like, we both tight. T- I get doing? it. You're tight. I'm not tight, though. I'm not going to get tight because you tight. Yeah. What are the things that I love the and most? Some people, about some people, some people want that. They want you to feel what they feel, and I'm like, yeah. I don't. Yo, I, I don't know why you mad, like that. Because me and you have the same kind of demeanor. We chill. Nah, yeah. There's a lot of girls that fuck. was like, <laughs> girls that were like, because I didn't. I was so chill. They wanted a reaction out of me, and they fed off that. Okay. Oh, I got a reaction. Out of me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you're a psycho. That's the big. You get more reaction out of me. Out of somebody that jo- it's ridiculous. People will come yeah. to you with a problem and sensationalize the whole story, make it seem like they just got shot. Just so you can, yo, I feel you. Yo, we on the same side. Mm-hmm. The, the one thing that I always found funny is about when you're speaking to your friend about a problem and you want, like, all right, babe, I'm going to say what I feel. You can't dictate how that person's going to respond. If you just say, all right, babe, I'm going to tell you what happened and what, you take it the way that you want to take it and yeah. explain to me, you know, how you felt about it, all right, cool. If you get upset that I ain't see it the way that you saw it or I don't agree with you, that's what you, don't tell me that no more. Don't like, tell me that no You should have did it this way. I was like, no, I did it the way I wanted to do exactly. it. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Like it you felt get, good when exactly. I did it that way. Because don't don't chastise me for doing it the way that I, I, I may have done something. Like You could point out, oh, you know you could have did this differently. You could have did this. Um, This could have happened. It could have went a different way. All right, cool. But don't try to indoctrinate me 
with the way I'm supposed to act. Like, yo, next time, you got to make sure you do this. Yo, do that. Yeah, yeah, fuck every, out of here. That everyone is going to do something on the way how they want to do it at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. It, like I said, what we said earlier, you don't give the advice unless the advice is asked from you. It's very, yeah. very simple. Yeah. Like, don't come to me and tell me, oh, I should have did it this way. No, I did it the way how I felt it should have been done. And that's you very, very simple. Smoke crack, go smoke your crack. Yeah, but I'm not do if you, what I do. But don't if, ask me why. But I'm if you come and ask me, oh, should I smoke crack? I'm going to tell you, nope, you shouldn't be smoking crack. It's very simple. But if you're going to do what you want to do, you're going to do what you want to do because at the end of the day, everyone is an individual and they're going to do what they want to do. If you want to follow someone else because you want to follow someone else, Mm -hmm. I'm not going to follow that person. Mm -hmm. It's just what you're going to want to do. Yo, we only got one, I really thought, we only got one life. When I be with a girl that like, she annoying me, I'm like, if I marry her and have kids with her, my whole life life is going to be annoying. Mm -hmm. You're crazy. Mm -hmm. Mm Mm-hmm. Because you can't escape that person. But people, you don't put your people try to power through, through that nonsense. You can, That's but I'm problem. not going to continue a cycle. Yeah, like, exactly. Nah. Like, break the cycle. That's what people are so scared to yo, do, I break like the cycle. Her, but I'm, 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 the parents said I got married and stuff. I'm like, you stupid. <laughs> this ain't the 1920s. Yeah, I'm like, Shout you don't got to all be the Fitzgeralds no more. Like, <laughs> yeah. The Fitzgeralds. Yeah. Oh, yeah, my, but you're going to carry my last name. You're going to be my woman. Nah, fuck out of here. But like, <laughs> relationships to me are like wild insecurities these days. Because it's just like you're mad dependent on somebody else to feed you emotions, help you feel this way, help me get through this, help me through that. I'm like, so where were you at? Where were you at when I, the 27 years of my life, when I had to figure it out? When you were shooting in the gym? Yeah, like. <laughs> how, how I get to 100% and now I got to charge your battery? Oh. I've been charging. I've been I'm charging like, I'm not a hundred percent. I'm still trying to charge. I'm exactly. trying to figure it out. I'm still learning. Mm-hmm. So if you don't have that, uh, if you don't try yourself on your by or on I your own time, you. then I'm like, nah, bro. If you depend, like, and I'm happy you said that because dependency is like the biggest word here. Because if you step into a relationship. Like, I bet I'm depending on this person to make me happy. No. I'm depending on this person no. to hold me accountable. I'm de- if you, you can't do that for yourself, no. like, you can, it's that can be something that you're looking no, for. Crazy. Where you can say, yo, it's I crazy. want this person to, you know, if, if they hold me accountable, I'll hold them accountable. If you both doing the same thing for each other, then that's perfect. Mm-hmm. But if you step into this, like, yo, I need this person no. because I can't do it myself. That's ridiculous. Just earlier today, I was telling um, Antisocial Ty, I was just like, I got upset. I took a step back. You understand? Mm-hmm. It doesn't make any sense for me to broadcast this elsewhere. You take a step back and you evaluate. If you need a time, you take the time that you need. There's no need for you to continually pinpoint this or ask for this person and be like, oh, yeah, it's for you to make me not upset about whatever situation what? the situation is. No, it's, it's for me. you to figure it out yourself. I'm backing up. Let me take a step back and figure out, okay, why did I get upset and how did, how can I better myself to not get upset about this situation later on? Or how can I just take a step back to just get a still mind? Because sometimes people just need a still mind and they don't take that that pause to get the still mind. They, instead, they just continually firing, firing at everybody and it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, if you come up with a list of what you want yeah. from somebody, you got to look at that list and be like, mm-hmm. you provide that. Exactly. exactly. If you mm-hmm. asking for all this attention, mm-hmm. if I give you this attention... Are you fun to be around? Yeah. Do you know how to talk? Are you talk? supplying like, it the right way? If yeah. you are mm-hmm. boring to be around and you demanding attention, that doesn't make sense. Yeah. The math don't add up. Right. Mm-hmm. You just want to take. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Take, 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 take. Yeah. Never yeah. given. Yeah. Yeah. You better thought. I was going to say, like, um, when you made that whole analogy, I remember looking at like, some uh, friend of mine's relationship, and they were having, like, they were trying to, I was trying to figure out, like, what happened. And then I started noticing the tendencies. I was like, yo, you're really a dependent. You're not an independent. You're, Put you're a dependent. Taxes. So, <laughs> Fact. <laughs> Put them on the so, taxes. <laughs> I was like, yeah, so I I'm like, yo, so I look at the ratio, I'm like, yo, if, the, if you're the female and you're depending on the guy to be like, yeah, you know, I'm going to expect this, I'm going to expect that, but then you don't have a concept or mindset of your own, then the relationship becomes like an independent, dependent relationship. Combined with it's like I I just want to depend on you to give me give me give me like going back to what you had said that was the whole point so once you said it sounds like, childish when you say it out loud yeah, like, give, me, like give me give me give me like whoa so it's like independent dependent I was like nah it got to be in the, like you make it sound like it's gonna be dependent dependent like we're gonna depend on each other to give something but it's like nah if I'm making it's a one sided it's one sided mm-hmm. so I was like nah it got to be like you got to really be independent it's weird how I'm saying it but. You got to be an independent person of your own, but then depend on somebody else to be accountable for you as well. Mm-hmm. So then that's how it works. 
if it just becomes a matter of I'm just long. gonna if I'm just gonna depend on you all day it's, and then I'm not gonna hold you accountable, but then I don't have nothing going for myself. It's two individuals working as one. As mm-hmm. one. That's, That's how relationships are supposed yeah, to be. Yeah, it's yeah. two but, individuals working as one. It's not this individual is the the oh yeah, the OD benefactor and this person is just following the other person. No, it's two mm-hmm. individuals working, as, working one. as one. I like to be like, yo, what you up to? I'm doing this, that. Yeah. Oh, yesterday I did this interview, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh, that's dope. You doing yeah. something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then I'm not going to ask about it for another month. <laughs> <laughs> you got a goal. You trying yeah. to. Because if, if if you keep asking about it, if it's like a day to day, it's like, how, what I change. Yo, yeah. I do what I want somebody to do for me. Yeah. I'm not going to be harassing you. I'm going to ask you about it. You tell me about it. I see you passionate about it. That's great. All right, mm-hmm. cool. I'm going to check up on you later on when it pop up my mind. How's that thing going? Conversation. People, remember when I was talking to you about this? Yeah. Where it's like, yo, if you. Constantly asking like twenty one questions, yeah. and you can find because if, if you don't know somebody, so you're trying to so get to annoying. know somebody, and you just yo what the, what about this? What about this? What about this? you got to learn how to speak because there's 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 things that can you know there's situations they garner you asking questions like you mm-hmm. told me yo I almost got shot. Ow. Well, there's a Ow. story. Oh no, son, I I totally understand how you, it's an art of asking questions. Yeah, bah, bah, bah. yeah after you ask a question, over ask, and another and over and over. ask another one, yeah. ask another one. Instead of going into that first question, you ask me right. a question, let's elaborate on it. Why do I feel that way? Why yeah. do I think? Mm-hmm. That's a conversation to me. And then at the same time, even when you ask, because there's a lot of people who don't know how to receive like the questions. Because if you say, all right, yo, uh, this happened, and they explain what happened, you're like, all right, but that's interesting. Why did you go about it that way? Then? Yeah. So then when you ask that, now this person feels, oh, why are you interrogating? Those why are you, inquisitive but it's like, questions. Yo, wait a exactly. It's one of those, <laughs> but I need to know the context <laughs> of what happens. You know, because context is getting lost nowadays. People could just say something. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait a minute! You can't just say that out there. Like, yeah, I was walking and sure he got raped and that. Whoa, hold on, wait, wait, what are you? We're not gonna walk past that. What are we? What, what did you just? Yeah. What did you just say? Wait a minute! Wait, why are you asking all these questions? You just said some wild, mm-hmm. said some wild shit. Can we explore where we go? I was like, why are you telling me that? Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah, How you about to get a case, bro? Don't mm-hmm. tell me that. And it's, if if you don't even want to talk about it, don't bring it don't up. Bring it up. Don't bring it up. Don't bring it up. Please, Isn't that please. Weird? I I saw that before. Like somebody was like mad and they was like doing stuff to make you want to ask. Yeah. yeah. And they got mad you asked and you be like, bro, you was all huffing and puffing. Yeah. It's like you wanted the attention. Well, have you? Yeah. Have, well, have you ever dealt with someone that said that they were calling you or texting you to try to tell you something because you wasn't there? They tell you this later on. You ask them what it is. They don't feel like telling you right now. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. my God. That Damn it. I was like, what was the point of even it, saying? It, Just it, wait until you were ready and then say what you yo, had to say. That irks my soul. I damn it through my phone once. Yo, before. I'm, I'm like, like, say, I'm like I why, why come to me and tell me that you had something to tell me before? But now you're not ready to say it. Why not just come at the appointed time that you were ready to say it? I like saying it. Right, cool. Like, what's the point of saying? You like, you like wasting words, dude. I saw the thing. I'm the, the lady I'm entertaining now. We have this beautiful freedom over like we give each other space to where we generally be like, "Yo, how you doing, man? What's up?" Mm-hmm. I generally want to see you this time. It could go a week by. It's okay. Nobody feeling because she's doing something with her life. Yeah. I'm doing something with mine. Mm-hmm. So we're focused on those. Yeah. And every now and then we want to take a little vacation, and hang out with each other. Mm-hmm. Like, Yo, stop. Cause nothing know? is forced. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. And people, I, I was, I was talking, I was talking with a, 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 a friend of mine yesterday about just the perception of like relationships. Whole foot just popped. <laughs> but, uh, about, like, the I try not to say that. People, <laughs> I didn't think it would be that high. Dude, when I looked, I'm like, you see his foot pop up. Yes. <laughs> New guest lights can flip. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. I told the perception of like relationship because people yeah. think yo because you in a relationship you got to talk every day. Mm-hmm. A relation be dating somebody just like having a friend. You literally I could see you once, twice a week, and we could just talk when we talk and things could still be great. If you come in with an expectation, we supposed to say, yo every day, every day. Every day. Bugging. In a relationship, they have to understand that it's okay to not have anything to say. Yeah. That's the thing right there. They're not okay with not having anything to say. If you don't have anything to say, stay, take a step back. Say, I'll talk to you later. Have a good night. Whatever the situation may be, you do not need to force conversations over and over and over. That's the problem. And then you run out of stuff to say. You, you start talking about nonsense. Anger starts building because it's just... A circle of yeah. what you're doing, and yeah, okay, and this that. Then it come becomes on. small talk. Then it's small you know talk for like eight months. It doesn't that care. The, when I see married people small talk each yeah. other, I'm like, how long y'all known each other? Mm-hmm. Ten years. 
what? Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, no, we should be sitting next to the dumb quiet and be super comfortable. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bro, I was, last week I was talking to you about that. I'm like, yo, I cannot stand, like, just the, anything that you can feel as if somebody's forcing conversation, just let it happen naturally. naturally. Just let it happen naturally. We know each other way too long. Mm-hmm. Or even if you're together with somebody, you've been with this person, regardless of how long or short it has been, you can't just, ah, uh, yo, oh, how was your... How was your day? Oh, it was fine. Oh, it was fine? Well, my day was fine, too. Where's this conversation going? Yeah. <laughs> There's no detail. There's nothing that's here. And more importantly, you can just get into whatever the hell you want to talk about. People start with small talk in order to get to a conversation that mm-hmm. they want to go. Just start over there. Some just people be my is friend just, first. Exactly. Are you cool enough to be my friend? friend? Can I hang out with you? Can we go to Six Flags and we have a ball? Mm. And then within those things, you learn if you could deal with her. Like, well, I went to Six Flags with Homegirl. And we, you know how Six Flags is tight, but you got to have a mat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That interaction, learning, we wrote, read the maps and worked our way around. We was like, all right, we got to walk like this. You know, some people came and walk as a team, do something like mm-hmm. that. Some of them, like, I got the map. I'll listen to what I say. We got to go this. Nah, we teamwork because we mm-hmm. dead, both was like, oh, this map is a cartoon. Mm-hmm. And this is, we need, so we just like, really, all right, we got to do that. All right, cool. And then we was like, boop, boop, working out. Mm-hmm. I don't know if she noticed, but I was like, all right, cool. I could do, I could Go hiking one up. I could do other exactly. things. This helps me think time. about it. Yeah. Because right? yeah. yeah. the action, that was real. I didn't mm-hmm. ask her to do that. I, we did it. And that's mm-hmm. dope. And these people got that power trip. Like they get an opportunity. Oh, I got the map. Or oh, oh, I'm following me. That's people who they don't know never shit. had people listen to them before. Mm-hmm. Like you ever notice whenever you're in conversation with somebody and you listening and they start talking like, oh, yo, yo, you hear me? Because they ain't never had somebody mm-hmm. speak to them before. Mm-hmm. So they they just be sitting on, once they start talking, they start mumbling over their words or they can't get out what they want to say because ain't nobody so ever over. listened to them mm-hmm. before. I made people, when I was dating, I made girls uncomfortable with the eye contact because I was like dead yeah. ass actually listening to them. Mm-hmm. They were like, mm-hmm. see, you looking at I was like, yeah, you're talking. What do you tell, what the hell you think I'm <laughs> Who the hell have you in? in like, <laughs> yeah, that's what I think. I'm like, what dude you was, yo, so you just was talking to nobody? Yeah. Like, no, like this. He on his phone, yeah, he's yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, I'd be like, all right, let's talk. Boop, boop, boop. It could be funny. I don't care. Yeah, because one thing that people—that's why I don't. Like, that's why I can't hang out with somebody every day. Like, I need you to see me once a week or something. Because mm-hmm. when when I see you, I'm there. Phone off. I'm there. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. it. I give you that. If that's not enough for you, all right, sweetheart, go find somebody else. Mm. That's how I keep it. I keep so it so that was one. Of, that was one thing that I had to work on myself too. Because there's times where I'd be hanging out. With people, and I'd be on my phone only because, and it wasn't even just I'm on my phone frivolously. I would, I'd be on my phone because, well, I'm either responding to some emails or, your work. or I and it's like because my work is on the phone. Like mm-hmm. that was the only thing, but I'm actually working. It's not like I'm just dicking around, just looking around and shit. Mm-hmm. But I took time to say, wait a minute, if I'm with somebody, if we chilling, I'm going to be in that moment, I'm with you 100%. And I had to work on that. It took some time. But I work on it because it's yeah, fucking. I, I didn't, see, I didn't really like understand that. how disrespectful that was yeah. until mm-hmm. the older I got and realized, yo, I took time out my day to hang out with you. You took time out your day to hang out with me. So why are we on these yeah. two devices yeah. that take us out of this? Yeah. So that's why we totally. why we came to hang out then? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. that's crazy. Yeah, it took one of my friends that's... had to say that shit to me, and I was sitting there like, yo, you you so right, uh, you so right. Like I'd be sitting over here like, yo, I'm really on my phone, and we both. here. Like the fuck? I would hurt my soul of a girl on the phone while I'm just like, damn, I'm corny. I'm, mm. Cause if you if you cool with it, a girl gonna be into you. She gonna be. <laughs> you gonna know because she gonna not. Girls don't fake it when they're not interested. Yeah. yeah, they don't. They don't. You just watch the actions. Yeah, she could be like, yeah, I was interested. No, if you watch it, she was like this the whole time she was mm-hmm. talking to the homeboy. She was not into you, son. If she into you, that phone all the way over there. She's yeah. like, that's one of the that's one of the things that I'd say women Yo, definitely got over men. Remember, you, you could observe there'd be a dude who's not really into it, but he gonna stay there because of like the, the promise of future pussy. So he just sit <laughs> over there for future implied pussy. Just and I feel like I'll be in the background. Read the room. Oh, she's she. not into you. Oh, Yo, yeah. remember we went to um call girls, daddy. We, we went away. to call daddy. Remember that one girl? She was uh, they was over by the um by the by the glass. Mm. And she was like just eating up every word that this dude was saying. Yeah. Anytime he said something, but he was like in his like he would talk and then go on his phone, talking yeah. in his phone. And we were sitting there like, "Yo, son, she is od into this guy." You get what I'm saying? And he's just throwing it out oh, of the way. And that's no what like seeing stuff like that good. helped me out because oh, I'm just like, I ain't gonna make <laughs> no girl look goofy. If she, <laughs> if she into me like that, I'm gonna make sure she. That's why she into. Yo, me. And she was sure she was eating you know, every word he was exactly. saying. She was all yo. She was paid attention everything. And then right when he finished talking. When she started talking, I was just like, "Man, that sucks." Wow. Yeah, it takes time. Like you got to sit down sometimes and just 
Girls look, are look sexy. at yourself and then look at the other yeah. stuff. And the girls like are that, sexier you know? than that. Mm-hmm. When a girl sitting across from me, I'm, in, I'm like, yeah, we here for a reason because I thought you was attractive. Why am I on my phone? What's up? What's, what's your Trying to story? get to know you. Yeah, that's what I'm you, to know you. Getting to know you, it helps you just decipher what kind of person you're going to get into. Mm-hmm. They tell you. All you got to do is listen. listen oh, my <laughs> daddy wasn't What's around. Okay. She's going to have some daddy issues. Something. Dependability, something like that. Wow, okay. She's going to latch on to me. If she look at me a certain way, now if I fuck up, she's going to be like, oh my God, you're just like my dad. Meanwhile, I'm not your dad. And then you find out like eight but months down the line, yo, this, this is you could have <laughs> figured out the signs on the third date. Yeah. Yeah. You could have known know before, but lost yeah, because you was, <laughs> wasn't paying attention. Yeah, my crazy. dating life was it was cool. I didn't I wasn't a dude that like once I saw the signs, I was like, all right, cool. She gonna eventually just fade away. Because mm-hmm. I'm like, yo, we been on two. Up. A lot of times I was like. Three weeks into it, and a lot of them was like, so where's this going? I'm like... It sucks, though, because you're mate. wasting time all the same. It's just like, catch the vibe. I'm catching yours, you're catching mine. Let's do this thing if you really want to do this thing. But they, the phone technology, everyone is so immersed in this thing. It's just is yeah. is unbearable. If we click, we click. Yeah. That's where it, it all ties back to just that mm-hmm. growth. Just the lack of being able to grow and identify themselves put That's the true. phone down man. yeah just d- take that take that time do the self-reflection end of the day just sit there all right what did i do today to get better what did i do at this point okay let me just analyze hour by hour i think that's the best way to look at it because if you try to go by the whole day you fuck yourself up because mm-hmm. you will wait for at least like 15 hours yeah <laughs> so if this it's, it's it's not a lot of people who just sleep and don't have your if 15, you yeah, don't have 15 minutes out your day yeah. just to be still mm-hmm. and think about stuff reflect Come on. Yeah, you What's just on say, your table. What it's you like doing? you take a time to look at the agenda. All right, what did I do from 8 to 9? All right, I did this. Okay, cool. I ain't do no fucked up shit here. All right, but look at from 9 to 10. Go hour by hour. Look at your your, your your conversation with different sort of people. Look at how I... Oh, did I did I carry myself the right way when I did that? Oh, I said this at like... To us. Should I said that to her? All right, let me think about... Oh, what, what, and you just figure out... Before. What you did in order to the grow. next day, before the next you know day you try to hit it hard, but exactly. I learned that from yesterday. I'm about to say it just now. Before you know it, you self correcting as you're doing it. Exactly, you know what I'm saying. And you don't and you even have buy, to reflect. Yeah. And girls don't like, oh wow, he on it. Like, and you yeah. never, yeah. and you never become a creature of habit. You never become a creature of habit because you figure out. How can I get better <laughs> and grow? That's all it's about, man. That's all it's about. Yeah, bro. This for assassin over there. Yo, for yeah. real, son. <laughs> oh, boy, we covered a lot today, man. Yo, for yeah. real. Yeah. Facts. Insecurity, maturity. All that uh, um, on the journey. A lot of the, yeah, a, whole fat, journey, a good one. That fat bitch missed a great conversation. Oh, yeah, yeah. What? Yeah. Fatty, fatty bitty, fatty bitty, fatty bitty, y'all, fatty bitty. I'm sorry, but this time fat bitch. Fatty Bitty we hey, talked about, bro. But we had to replace Fatty he, Bitty. I feel like he, he going through a lot. He needed something. Like <laughs> Thank you, man. Maybe you watching it. Man, you're going to be a gumbo. You got it, Jonathan. Hey, you, you, you said, said that. <laughs> and, and you said it on this. You hey. put it in the universe. Hey, there it is. That's all right, Chief. That's gumbo right there. Yeah, you know what I mean? Holla like at him. From Hunters of the Donuts to gumbo. Hey, man, so call me. What was it? Amazing World of Gumbo or something like that? Yeah, that's him, man. Based on his life. Come on. Yeah, but that is it. I go King Plaza. Yeah, that's a fact. That includes. <laughs> that concludes episode four of the unconventional. Five. Yeah, four, four, five, four, five. Four, five. We're going to figure it out. Eight. Yeah! yeah. 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 Woo! Ah, he got it right. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh we must let self Okay, my son. That's what I'm talking about, son. Right? Right? Right on cue. Magnificent. Let's go. But that concludes the episode four. We're not going to do it again. Of the unconventional dead ass podcast. I have been your host, D. Diligent, vigilant, meticulous, sagacious, conscientious, analytical, methodical, individual, D. Chiseled Adonis. My co host. Yo, Anton Sofita. Mr. Unknown. Mr. No IG. The Unchiseled Adonis. Gumbo. And Gumbo in the spirit of Fatty Bitty. We'll catch you on the next recording. All right. That's next year, though. Fatty Bitty. Right